Alright, back for more Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, and I didn't even outfit anybody. I think everybody's is fine, for now anyway, but uh, actually, we can give those to uh, Mist. Uh, we'll do that at some other point. It's not really important right now. So, I didn't even award any experience or anything, so let's just end, leave the base, and let's do chapter 20. My Lord Ike, were you able to find the medallion? No, it's gone. I fear that Dayan may have somehow stolen it. Oh no. What? Is such a thing possible? I don't know what to to what degree, but there can be no questioning Dayan's involvement. Is the medallion special? Well hell yeah it is. Yeah. <laughs> I beg your pardon. What is it? My question may have touched a sensitive area. Okay, we'll just leave that joke alone. Oh no, it's not that I don't want to discuss it with you personally. I just don't... I can't really talk about it to anyone. It's a private matter. I see. Ike? Uh-oh. I hear the sound of rushing water just ahead. A lot of it. Rushing water? What does that mean? According to the map, there's a large river up ahead. That must be what you hear. This is unnatural. Warped. It's not the sound of a normal river. General Ike, sir, we've got trouble. The road ahead is blocked by water. What? How can that be? Perhaps the local river has flooded. The whole region is soaking wet. The road complete is the road completely impassable? No, sir, we can move forward, but the water's turned the ground to mud. And the water is still flowing at a tremendous rate, sir. And this is going to cut our speed dramatically. This is the work of Dayan. They thought to impede our progress in order to gain some time for themselves. And they've succeeded. Blast, is there nothing we can do? Well, if they were able to flood the road only when, a, when we approach, there must be floodgates in the area. So if we can close them, we'll shut up the flow of water, right? That makes sense. Let's get some scouts looking for the gates. That, what's that? Hey, if you're looking for something, leave it to me. I am the king's eyes, after all. What do you mean? These peepers of mine can see for miles and miles. They're quite handy. It would, it would be a shame to not use them. Is that some Lagoose power? You're a hawk with the eyes of a uh, hawk? It beats your fantastic wit. My eyesight isn't a racial ability, it's just my own natural talent. Heck, my pal Oki has ears that can hear grass growing on the other side of the country. I see, well, the job's yours. Do you think you can find the floodgates? I just look for some openings with a lot of water pouring out, right? Yeah, I can handle that. Okay, well, go. Go do your thing, Mr. Hawk. Oh, what is this? Talrega floodgates. Huh. It is... What's his name? The Crimean army is here. All troops, combat formations. Hit them fast and hard. We can't let this battle drag out. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? So those are the floodgates. Yep. If we can get them closed, the water will recede in about 12 hours or so. Alright, let's get going. Well, okay. Are we in Dan? Because they said a while ago... That Jill probably shouldn't be used in day in. I don't want to. Okay, I can take her out and put Gatry in. How about that? That works out pretty well. And I want to take out Tennis. I don't know. I think I'll leave her in. Um, but what is. Uh, okay. So Tanith is like the upgraded version. Not sure I want to use her. But I can just have her in for backup, and we'll keep it at this. Or I'm putting cool. I don't know. Let's just leave it like I have it now, and move on. Let's reposition. Put Gatry up here, and there's a house. Where's where are thieves or bandits? They are somewhere. They have to be. They have to. Be. There's another house. Ah. I've got to get down there somehow, and have to arrive in 15 turns. Ugh. That is so annoying. Well, 
I think Astrid is going to go up here to that house and take out pretty much everyone right here. And, well, maybe she should go down here since... Do they have swords or... Yeah, they have swords. Probably a lance. Nephany! And if I had Jill, I'd use her, but I don't know if I'm supposed to take her out or not, so I'm just going to be safe. So we'll do Nephany backed up by Soren, and where is Volk? And Volk. And that should work. And of course, Ike, but Ike needs to really... Well, we're going this way anyway. Everybody should go down that way. I can just send Astrid to get this, and then she can catch up pretty quickly. There, that's what we'll do. Let us fight! And just go ahead, send Ashri up here. And we're actually going to use an axe and take out these guys. They have a steel lance. Both have steel lances. Both would do the same, but he's more likely to hit, so he's probably more dangerous. And we will just take him out like this. No problem. And that's important, because now he can't reach anybody over here. And neither can he, because they would have to go around Astrid. Alright, now we have lances down here. And one axe, which is going to quickly get taken away by Volk. Except Volk can do a lot of damage. Come on, Volk. I guess uh, being behind has done way too much to him. We can at least get... I think get Boyd down there to take out that guy. Um, hmm. He will be... Okay, that's just a Lagoo Slayer. So that should be fine. I don't think Boyd will take too much damage from that. So let's put him here. Have him take out this Lance guy. Man, that was just a big chunk of damage on the first shot. I would like him to get more defense, though, in his level ups. I wonder if he's maxed anything out. Nope. Okay. It's fine. Now let's take Soren down here and have him attack this guy and kill him. Alright, that worked very well. And now... Okay, he has a, he has a hand axe, but you know what? I trust Nephni to uh, defend Soren. And now we are down to Ike, Mist, and Gatchery. Which Gatchery is going to move down here. I think Rolf can start damaging this guy. Hell, he can kill him. Let's do that. Alright. And then we'll move Ike down here too. And I think we'll move Volk. Well... I have a lance. I don't know that I like that. We'll move Volk. Hmm. Let's move him here. And we'll move Miss down just to make sure she keeps up. And then Racin. Actually, let's move Tanith down and just use Racin to uh, chant her. No big deal. Just get him a little more experience, although I'm not really concerned with it, but I guess it doesn't hurt. And there we go. In that turn. Uh-oh. General, how long are the floodgates to remain open? Until the Crimean army has been defeated. Sir, if we wait that long, all of the neighboring farmland will be drowned. The locals are already quite upset. They may not abide this much further. Uh, he has nothing to say. He really wants to prove himself, doesn't he? Enough, soldier. If you've got the time to be belly aching, take your butt out to the battlefield and kill some Crimean soldiers. Sound advice. Do you support this action? This is inhumane. Lives will be ruined. Day and citizens will die. Even if we claim that it's necessary to order 
in order to achieve victory. This is too much. The day ends, this is Dan's way. Are you ready to disobey the king and be put into death for your troubles? I would rather die than kill innocent Dan civilians. If you're executed as a traitor to the throne, your parents and siblings will also pay. Are you still prepared? Well, that is a good question. Now do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Go. Fight bravely. Alright. To gain the trust of the king, we've become cruel and heartless. First hunting and executing the Lagoos, and now flooding the lands these people call home. General something, if someone hears you use the word Lagoos in this country, you will be branded a traitor. Uh, you're, all, you're right as always. To live in this land where Lagoos prejudice is so virulent. Never. We've had to steal, steal every, steal away everything we know, and teach our children to hate all subhumans. All that just to survive here. It's Asper's fault this country has become what it is today. What a terrible miscalculation we made. Even so, I hated the idea of furthering the corruption of the Imperial Senate. I will continue to support your reasons for leaving Begnan. I wonder if Jill has distanced herself from the Crimean forces. I did give her warning. Above all else, I would like to avoid meeting my daughter in combat. I pray that she does not take to the field this day. Knowing her temperament, talking with you would only increase both of your sorrows. I have but one favor to ask of you. Say it and it will be done. Do not fight today. Okay. Only one side can win a battle. If we are defeated in the end, I want you to care for the survivors and their families. Yes, sir. It's been many long a year since you last called me that. Wow. May the fortunes of war be with you. Okay. So I guess it is a good thing I didn't bring Jill. That's like two separate times they sat there and said not to use her. I don't know, they could probably, like, recruit her or something. I don't know. That's what it seems like, anyway. Oh, 11 damage. I kind of expected that, but one-shot KO <laughs> on, the, on that swordsman. Did not work out like you wanted, did it? Now, Nephany, with her... Oh, come on, Nephany. Oh, well. Soren can take care of him, I bet. Guys, I just want to get this damn house. Can you leave me alone? Astrid's like getting... She's getting really uh, ganged up on here. But you know, she is Astrid. She doesn't care. We'll open that one little spot to get to the house and uh, take our prize. I think she'll be fine up there by herself. I trust her. She is pretty badass. It'd be great if she got more defense. Aww. Okay, well, more speed, that's fine. No, you cannot touch this. And you're... Oh, damn it, I knew you would heal. No, stop. Oh, fully healed. Uh, I feel like she needs help over there, but I can't exactly just give her any. Alright, get rid of this Wyvern Knight. With no problem, pretty much. And now I'm gonna take Ike and hopefully kill this guy. Nope. Nope. He has zero percent chance to hit. That is freaking awesome. All right, we can take some out with Volk and then finish him off with Ike. That'll work well. And Volk can finally get experience again. How great is that? And you had a 3% chance to hit. Yeah, you might as well have zero. Alright, now what are you going to do? You can attack Ike now, but... Maybe not if I move Boyd up. And let's heal Nephany. Back up to 32 health. Because uh, I'm going to put her up there too. 
And she can definitely survive one shot from a wyvern rider, but uh, two is kind of pushing it. Also need to check their movement. I forgot about that. Okay, we'll put her up here. And put Gatry down here, next to Ike. And now nobody can attack Ike. That's what I wanted. And only because they have lances. And I don't think Ike would like being hit with a lance. I learned that many, many chapters ago. Alright, isn't that it? Who else? Oh, Astrid, duh. Let's go ahead and get our prize. Visit. Hold on, youngster. Who do you think you are? You can't just come barging into people's houses or homes. I think I can. Oh, she has a scroll. What scroll is this? Smite. Huh. An item. Oh, it requires smite. Fine. Now I can start going back with her. And enemy phase. Probably might should have left her against the house because... They're all going to surround her, but I guess it really doesn't matter. No, leave Boyd alone! Leave him alone! Oh, thank you. I would hate to lose him at this point. That's very pot. Oh, shit, he has swords. But he didn't go after... Oh, damn. It activated. And he's dead. Ike has, like, the weakest sword equipped, so... That's why it's not doing very much damage. Oh, well, okay. Still no more strength. I would like more. I think I have strength weapons, or weapons that increase... I don't know, items that will increase strength, so... I'll probably look into giving him those. Okay, Astrid, here you go. You got this. One, and... It'd be nice if it was critical. And again. Okay, there we go. She heard me, man. She heard me say critical. That's pretty weird, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe she can do it again? Possibly? Yes? No? Aw. No. Aw. No. Okay, well, one was pretty good. And he is going for Nephni, just like I thought he would. And <laughs> Nephni is not going to do very much to him. Unfortunately. But she will level up while not doing anything. And only get skill and speed. Hmm. You need more strength, Nephni. And I'm trying to decide what to do with Astrid here. I'm not sure. It'd be dangerous to bring all the Wyvern knights back down. Oh, shit. There are more of them. All right, well, we have an interesting situation here. Um, perhaps take this guy out with either Soren or... Hell, we'll use Gatry. Well, let's check him out against the Wyvern Knight first. Nope. Nope. Okay. You will get this horse, then. And you will take him out in one shot. Hell yeah. Alright, what do you have? You have a bow. Alright, so nobody... Or you won't attack anybody at rain... Or at melee. Gosh. So who do I want to use then? Ephany? Possibly. She has a night killer. That would only do 30 damage though. About Ike. Oh, the regal sword is good. Okay, we'll take him out with Ike. And, wow, one shot. That is all he had in him. I really think I should take everybody out with... with Astrid. At least up here. And I'm gonna do the... Ooh, he has a Night Killer. Oh, snap, let's do this then. Screw that. I'm not getting that melee range to him. It does mean the others can uh, attack me at melee and not get hurt, but the the archer can't. So the archer will die. Did she max out anything yet? 
No, she has not. Okay. Alright, Soren, can you... No, you cannot attack that thing, so we'll put you up here. And we will get Rolf to attack it with a long bow. And then I guess... Let's see, that would leave... That would leave five left, yeah. And we can let Nefni clean it up. 